During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about growing degree days and how you can measure and track those on your farm this year. Well, there are certain crops like corn and wheat, for example, that grow by the accumulation of heat. And so when you get warm days and lots of them in a row, you see rapid growth. When it cools down, it seems like the crop just sits still. We know that there are certain, a certain amount of growing degree days that we'll talk about here as we go uh, that are needed for that crop to reach certain developmental stages. The challenge is, how do you track them on your farm without doing a whole bunch of math every day? All right, well, the easy way that you can do that is to use the Ag PhD GDU calculator or growing degree unit calculator. But before we talk any more about that, we got to step back a second and discuss a little about what are growing degree days exactly. Well, for corn, for example, what we figure is the low point is 50 degrees. So basically anything below 50 degrees, we're not really getting any growth. And anything above 86 degrees, we're also probably not getting any additional growth. So those are the two main factors we're looking at is a high of 86 and a low of 50. The way you calculate a growing degree day is you take the high temperature plus the low temperature for the day, divide it by two, and for corn, you would subtract 50. Now, if the high temperature is above 86, we just use 86, and if the low temperature is below 50, we just use 50. So, for example, let's just say the high temperature is 86, and the low temperature is 50 for a day. We'd add the 86 plus the 50 to get 136. Then you divide it by two to get 68. Then you take 68 minus 50, and you would have 18 growing degree days for that particular day. With corn, for example, we figure it takes about 100 growing degree days or growing degree units to get that corn out of the ground. So by Darren's math there on the 86 and 50, you think, oh boy, we're up to 86. It's nice and warm. The corn's going to pop out of the ground. No, with our math and, and running the GDU calculator, you're going to find it's probably still going to take you six days, even with those kind of temperatures, to get that corn popping out of the ground. When you get to the middle of the summer though, growing degree day accumulation becomes pretty rapid because the nighttime temperatures aren't falling so low in most cases. So let's say for this example, the high temperature for the day is 86, the low temperature is 74. When you add those two together, that's 160. Divide that by two, that's 80, and then subtract 50, you've got 30 growing degree days, uh, which would be a much more rapid accumulation throughout that part of the season. All right, so we talked already about the high being 86 and the low being 50, and, and those are the highest numbers and the lowest numbers that we're going to use in our calculation, but it can be different depending on the crop. So anyway, with this GDU calculator, the Ag PhD GDU calculator, what you're going to do is plug in your zip code, you're going to put in whatever your planting date was or whatever date you want to start calculating uh, this, this growing degree unit thing, and then you can put in whether we're talking corn or wheat, and then you can track it after that point. The other cool part is you can put it in field by field. So let's say, hey, I got two fields planted today, but then it rained and it was a week later before I got back and planted the next couple of fields. Well, you can put a planting date in for each field, that way you can track them as you go. Knowing your growing degree units is important on your farm, but so is knowing what weeds you have out in your field. Can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? 